Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. So begins what is perhaps the best loved of all children's stories, the tale of naughty Peter Rabbit and his adventures in Mr. McGregor's garden. It is hard to believe that this story first appeared in a letter written to a little boy nearly a hundred years ago. How have Peter Rabbit and his friends continued to delight generations of children all over the world? The answer to that question must lie with Beatrix Potter, their creator. Beatrix Potter loved animals, and she loved telling children stories about them. One day, she made up a story about her pet rabbit, Peter, and sent it in a letter to amuse Noah Moore, the son of her former governess. Later to become the tale of Peter Rabbit, this story proved an instant success and was the first of 23 animal tales. The tale of Squirrel Nutkin also appeared in a picture letter, this time to Noel's sister, Nora. Beatrix had heard an American legend about squirrels sailing over the water on rafts, using their tails as sails, and turned this idea into a delightful story about squirrels searching for nuts on a wooded island, home of fierce old brown the owl. Like Peter Rabbit, Benjamin Bunny was another of Beatrix's pets, whom she would take for walks on a leather lead. He appears as Peter's cousin in the tale of Benjamin Bunny, and stages a second daring raid on Mr. McGregor's garden to rescue Peter's jacket and shoes. The tale of the Flopsy Bunnies, dedicated to all little friends of Mr. McGregor and Peter and Benjamin, features the next generation of rabbits, Benjamin's children, tempted by Mr. McGregor's garden yet again. The Flopsy Bunnies face danger once more in the last of the rabbit stories, the tale of Mr. Todd. Beatrix kept many other animals besides rabbits and was particularly fond of two mice, which she rescued from a cage trap named Tom Thumb and Hunka Munker. This naughty pair appear in the tale of two bad mice, smashing the dog's food out of spite and stealing furniture from their house. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle was another much-loved pet, whom Beatrix portrayed as a snappy washerwoman, laundering other animals' clothes in a nice clean kitchen with a flagged floor and wooden beams, just like any other farm kitchen. Here is another clue to Beatrix Potter's character. She loved the countryside and all the country ways. With money from sales of her early books, she bought a small farm called Hilltop in the Lake District village of Sawry. Many of her later stories were inspired by the world around her there. The tale of the pie and the patty pan, for example, shows the village's lanes, cottages and gardens, with even a distant view of Hilton in the front of this picture. The shop in the tale of Ginger and Pickles was the Sawry village shop in Smithy Lane, close to Hilton. The tale of Mr. Jeremy Fisher first appeared in a picture letter written from Scotland to Noel Moore's brother, Eric. By the time Beatrix came to turn the letter into a story, she had fallen in love with the Lake District, and Mr. Jeremy Fisher sails his lily leaf boat on Esthwaite Water. Jemima Puddleduck tries to hide her eggs in the yard at Hilton and searches for a secret nesting place in the surrounding fields, while the tale of Samuel Whiskers and the tale of Tom Kitten take us right inside Hilltop Farmhouse itself. Beatrix Potter did not confine herself to the Lake District for inspiration. The Tailor of Gloucester, her own favourite tale, was based on a story she heard while visiting the district. Little Pig Robinson was inspired by scenes sketched on a family holiday in Devon when she was 17. Beatrix Potter also produced stories and rhymes for very young children. The story of Miss Moppet and the story of the fierce bad rabbit and two collections of nursery rhymes, Cecily Parsley and Apple Dumpling. Each of Beatrix Potter's stories conjures up a new world for us, seen from an animal's viewpoint. Pigling Land, lost in the forest. Poor Mrs. Tittlemouse, invaded in her sandy burrow by huge ladybirds, spiders, butterflies and bees. Timmy Willy, the little field mouse in the tale of Johnny Townmouse. How miserable he is when taken to town by mistake in a hamper of vegetables. 
The end of this story reveals where Beatrix Potter's own sympathies lie. One place suits one person, another place suits another person. For my part, I prefer to live in a country like Tim.